to delete this one okay so m3 we can just check the m3 so here you see we have um, model number one classes one two three i specify three classes now we need to choose which one is the best class so how are you going to choose it you can there are a lot of thick indices right here and i'm not going to go and talk about all of them but but aic and bic are the two most popular uh, fit indices that you to determine which classes are the best so if you have a look at the aic value you can see the smallest value is this one which means according to the aic value then this my data is best represented with three classes uh, but people don't usually base on only one fit in in this they, they, they're based on many different ones and another equally important is the BIC value if you look at this then the value will be two okay two classes will be best for my model and also look at the BLRTP this seems to be smaller than three so this one support the second class as well okay so it it depends um, your study and the interpreter interpretation of the data and whether you choose the model but it doesn't make sense then you should not choose it okay in this case um, for the them I can either go with three or two but in this case I believe I'm going to go with the two all right Just, just so you know, if you want to know what entropy means, it actually means the certainty between the class. Um, the certainty between this class seems to be better, like 82, okay? Like, one is 100% certain that these class are, classes are different, but 82 I means 82 percent of certainty so in this case, I'm going go again I'm going with two two classes so I'm going to specify this one two one two two actually you don't have to do it you can just go ahead and uh, plot the profile M3. Uh, we already specified three classes, so we can go ahead and run the plot. So this is the plot for one class, two class, and three class. Okay. And the function plot profiles will help us to plot. If you only want to specify your a model with with two classes only, as I have selected. You have to do something like this um, estimate profile 2 run it again oh I I have to click um, all of this I didn't cover all of the syntax all right now run it again and there we go uh, in this case I specify only two uh, profile classes and I plot it so you see this is two classes that I have and let's examine its feature for the first class class one we see the class one have a higher listening score they have higher intrinsic motivation and higher extrinsic motivation the second class among my participants uh, demonstrates a lower level of extrinsic motivation even lower level of intrinsic motivation and a lower 
listening score. Okay. So that is pretty much for the uh, for the analysis. Um, some other function that you may want to know is get data. Uh, get data means you want to see the result of classification of your your data in case you want to use it for subsequent analysis you can run get data and you will see that the first case is labeled a class 1 and you see like the 9 the 9 participant is labeled it into class 2 2 okay so that is the function of get data um, you can also run the um, get fit Get fit. get fit to get in extended version of fit indices so you basically get a lot of different fit indices like this so you know then it, it gives you more information to to decide which how many classes that best to represent your data um, Finally, another function is that the get estimate. Get estimate. This one will give you a more specific details about the the means, the variances for for different scores, intrinsic, extrinsic variable that you have in your data. Okay, standard error P model and class. Okay, so that's pretty much for this video. So I have just presented um, a very basic uh, Latin profile cl class analysis. If you want to use this for your research or your study, um, you really need to read more about the package you can read about the package um tidy lpa online um, in books so on to make sure that you get a good grasp of uh, the theoretical knowledge in your study before you implement this this analysis